Today we will be taking the train from Malmo Central to Trianglin and then walking back. So let's start the show. I really like all these little markers. It looks as though that it's signifying trains on the track, doesn't it? Like, I think that there's like trains going in all directions. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. I'm sure it's not in real time, but it is quite snazzy. I've just seen this plaque and it looks as though the installation is called Track Lights. You said that it is really airy in here. Look how high the ceilings are. It's it's very, very high. So I think especially in the summertime, it isn't going to be very hot and humid under here. They really are expansive platforms. What a magnificent station! And the journey only took between two and three minutes. So why are we in Trianglin, Paul? I think that there's like a big shopping mall here. So it's one of the suburbs of Malmo. Yeah, so we are just south of Malmo Central. And there are shops, as you say, and I think it's quite a big residential area as well. But we have noticed that there are some interesting sites along the way, and we want to bring those to you today. And the first point of note is the station itself. It's absolutely amazing. Look at the structure outside, and you will have seen the architecture inside as well. 
Do you know something? I think the station is shaped a little bit like a spaceship uh -huh. because there were cylinders inside, which I think was air conditioning, but it looked like the engines that you would find on a rocket or an aeroplane. And look at the way this door is open here as well. Oh. It looks as though it's like the hatch onto an aircraft. Oh, cool. Trianglin is one of the stations on the way to Copenhagen Airport from Malmo. And that is probably why this station is in the shape of an aircraft. Because look, that's the cockpit. You really do have to watch out for cyclists here. There are lots of cycle paths and there's even a cycle park outside the station. So there is safe cycle parking, a cycle service if you need maintenance, a cafe, a toilet and a pump for air. We've walked to this main square now and behind the scaffolding is a church and the bells are ringing. But over here, there is another sign that says Triangle. And I think this might be either another entrance to the railway station or else a previous entrance or the old location for the station. Because we've just been talking to a guy and he said that the station here is pretty new. Let's take a look inside the shopping center. These are um, spiral-shaped objects again. Very interesting indeed. Again, the bike is king here and they have these bike racks along the street with the rather fetching orange bicycle logos. And more on that side as well.
This is the main street between Triangle and Melm. Time to sit down because I think it's a pretty straight road or street now the whole way back to Malmo Central. I think we might um, look into a couple of shops if we see them along the way. <laughs> look Marcus, we found the store for you. It's called Grandpa. What? <laughs> well, if I lose any more teeth this year, I really will be a grandpa. So maybe I should go in and take a look. Do you know what this is? Sundial. Well, I, it is, I think. It's actually called Solon's Finger. I'm sorry? Solon's Finger. Because it's, because it's pointing up? Yeah, but you're right. It is a sundial because, look, it's pointing over here and it says it should be just after one o'clock. And it is actually one fifteen, so it works. The Victoria Theatre is a rather grand looking building. I think I have spotted a few secondhand shops such as this vintage place as well as Bjorka second hand. I think I understand why these secondhand shops are so vast. They are the size of our regular size stores in the UK. I think it's because of the green initiative and to be sustainable and to be good for the environment. So I think people that don't want their clothes, they donate so that then they could buy other things for that price. So I think because of the cost of living here being so high, they may, they may buy secondhand so that they are good to the environment while also being good to their wallets as well. We have seen Wayne's Coffee so many times during our trip here to Sweden that we really ought to go in and have our lunch there today. had some lovely food at Wayne's Coffee Dead. but if you're in the mood for something a bit yucky what? you could always go to the disgusting food museum and it's right here in Malmo so it says that you could look smell taste and maybe even vomit that sounds like a nice day out doesn't it Wow, some people seem to have left their shoes behind. What about yours, Paul? You want to leave them as part of the uh, collection? So, no one wants my smelly feet. Shoes. I wonder whether these shoes are part of the art installation. Well, we've just come from down there, and at the point we're standing now is the area where we were filming for our Eurovision episode. So you can check back on that and have a look when we visited other parts of Malmo. But this episode isn't finished just yet. No? No, no, no. We have 
one more area to look at after the break. We are flying the flag for YouTube. So it's Paula Marcus on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button. Well, this looks like a nice wee walk you're taking us on, Paul. Where are we heading? Malmo Hoos. Malmo Hoos. What's that? The Malmo Castle or something, I don't know. The castle? Well, oh, right. I see it on Google Maps, but I don't know whether there is or not. Oh, well, we'll just have to take a look. In the meantime, there's some lovely flowers. Yeah. We have now reached this bridge and you think that we are quite close. Is it I where the windmill that, is? I think I'm referring to the windmill. The and that is it? Ah, oh, right, okay. I think it could be, I could be wrong. I guess we might see before it's the windmill just there. Lovely little garden cafe along the way. It's what? It is like a secret garden here. Look how vast this whole area is. It like stretches for miles, I think. So this is the castle, the windmill itself. Yeah, the windmill. Oh, well, let's go and take a look. So you can tell it was a windmill, not only from the sails, obviously, but look, here's the old mill itself, the milling stones. We have information here, Paul. Malmos Castle was surrounded by ramparts with a bastion at each corner. The bastions were named after Swedish kings and military leaders. The first mill was built as early as 1663. It supplied the castle's residents with flour for 200 years. So we've reached the castle. So there's a price. 60 sack. Or... What's it called? Oh. Like a, like oh. a museum as well as... I don't think we're paying to get in. Because no. we're cheap, aren't we, Paul? <laughs> but we can still admire it from the outside. And we might get as far as through the keep. Look, there's a swan. And it says, show consideration for the swan family. Swans always defend their young. It is a natural instinct. Yep, that is definitely true. It says, if you see the male look at himself in the glass on the stand in front of you, it is an attempt to try to scare away an imaginary intruder. In other words, its own reflection. Uh, Paul, I have got something in common with swans. Did you know that? Did you bite? Not quite, no. I am scared of my own reflection though. Entering the museum. What's this? I think we have like a wheel over there. We're having a wheel of a time. Let's have a look. What do you reckon? Not sure what that is. I don't think it's a wheel though. And we have a map of ancient Malmo here.
Oh well. All's well that ends well. Well, the swan is now fast asleep and we were wondering where its mate was. And it's like right at the other side across the bridge. I think they needed space. What are you saying, Paul? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Thank you for watching our YouTube episode today. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because we do really want our numbers to skyrocket. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do that too. Yes, and perhaps you would like to buy us a coffee to help yes. us along the way. That so from too. Malmo, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Now, just in case you're wondering, and I'm sure you're not, when we film, what is on the other side? So we had to get out of the wind. And if we turn the camera around, you'll see that we're basically standing up against a poster and a brick wall. With some animals squealing in the back. Yeah. But if we were to stand over there, it was too windy. And then that's when you get the distortion because we, we can't even afford one of those furry heads for the microphone. So the donations for the coffee would really help to go towards that as well.